The new Saber Dagger is coming out on 4.5. It has a ton of upgrades over the base dagger. So the question remains though, should you buy a new Saber Dagger? Will it be worth it? Or should you upgrade a Plain Jane Dagger? As someone who has spent years tinkering with the dagger, I have some opinions, but let's discuss. Before we dig in, a quick 15 second plug for Project Mars, which is our in-house dry fire shooting simulator. We'll be launching this bad boy hopefully in mid-April, so follow the channel for updates, but let's get back to the Saber Dagger. So the new Saber Dagger looks incredible. The short clips I'm layering in are remixed from PSA's public promo footage for the Saber Dagger. I've not held one in my hands yet. Our channel is way too small for that. PSA probably doesn't even know we exist. But I made this video because when I first heard about the Saber Dagger, it validated quite a bit about the design decisions I made for my own stock dagger. I reviewed my upgraded PSA dagger in detail in another video, but you'll notice most of what I did for the dagger is extremely similar to what PSA ended up releasing in the Saber Dagger. So my upgraded dagger is basically the Saber Dagger that we have at home. <laughs> my dagger is my favorite gun that I own, so I feature it in a lot of my videos. I know after the release of the Saber Dagger, the trolls are going to come in with, why don't you just buy a Saber Dagger, you poor? But my custom dagger will always be my OG and near and dear to my heart, even if it becomes outdated in the face of PSA's new premium offerings. But let's start front to back. Both daggers have threaded barrels. Mine is the stock PSA dagger threaded barrel, but you'll notice that mine is a bit worn out as compared to the Saber version. It seems like the Saber version might be nitrided or have some other nicer coating from what the stock PSA dagger barrels have, which appear to have a phosphate finish if I had to guess. All I know is that the stock dagger barrels show their wear and tear pretty quickly, so this seems like a significant upgrade over stock. Next, let's have a look at the slide. Now mine has an original base dagger FDE slide, nothing wrong with it. The Saber slide has a cool Saber branding cut into it and some cool windowed cuts towards the front. You could get a similar effect if you were building a base dagger and just buying one of the windowed cut slides the PSA already offers, but it won't have that cool Saber roll mark. Most of the slides coming out from PSA are already optics cut, and it appears like the Sabre will have the same or similar Ameriglo suppressor height sights that are available on many of the Dagger slide offerings today. The biggest difference to the Sabre Dagger is the frame. The frame appears to be made of the same high quality plastic that is used in the base Dagger frame. However, it features new stipple patterns that look really sharp, and they've stippled in the accelerator portion of the Dagger frame. I actually ended up doing something very similar with mine. I hand stippled my frame and the accelerator cut. I have a tutorial on this on my channel. Obviously the Sabre stipple is much sharper than being laser cut. They also kept the finger nub areas where I shaved mine off. It looks like PSA is going to offer some custom Cerakote options. Their woodland frame looks so dang cool. I did something similar in that I rattle can mine, but obviously over time that's going to show quite a bit. The triggers on the new dagger appear to be an aluminum flat face trigger. I swapped an Overwatch Precision flat face trigger shoe in mine. Their trigger looks quite a bit nicer. The Saber dagger will feature an aluminum magwell. It looks a lot like the plastic magwell I installed from GG Magwells. GG Magwells now makes aluminum magwells, so it may be that their magwell is the same one that ships with the Saber dagger, but I can't be certain of that. The Saber Dagger also ships with a plus 5 meg extension. I'm running Glock OEM plus 2 extensions, so that is a significant upgrade as well. Okay, so the new Saber Dagger looks really sick. It's like a lot more refined version of the upgrades that I've already done on mine. The only upgrade that I've done on mine that the Saber Dagger doesn't have is a compensator. I've since added a Parker Mounted Machine Comp to mine. I have a review video on this coming out soon. I love this comp, but outside of that, the upgrades are essentially the same, only more refined on the Saber Dagger. PSA, to my knowledge, hasn't announced how much this thing will cost, so all I can really do is total what I spent upgrading mine to help you make an informed decision on the value. If we say the base RMR Dagger is worth 300 bucks, Let's say you spend 100 bucks on a new trigger, GG Magwell's Magwell will cost you around $50, a plus five mag extension from another brand is also about 50 bucks, not including the costs of stippling your own pistol and the labor and hours spent stippling. You could have an equivalent dagger to what I built for around $500 plus a lot of elbow grease. 
and the PSA offering would still have a lot more upgrades than what you would have going the route I did. It has a much nicer slide, a much nicer barrel, a nicer trigger, and a much cleaner stippled grip. I have no idea what PSA is going to end up charging, but I think if they did charge even a few hundred dollars up from there, or even a little north of that, it would be worth it and a very attractive price point. Again, I'm just speculating on the price. I have no idea what they're going to charge, but I'm guessing that's going to be super competitive with other brands that are not a Glock like Shadow Systems. The PSA dagger is really giving the people what they want. It's a Gucci, not a Glock, and depending on the price point that they sell these at, it's going to be a real contender with whatever else is on the market. So if you don't already own a PSA dagger and you want to upgrade the base pistol, I'd highly recommend taking a look at this line. Again, it releases next week. It's going to be super interesting what PSA ends up releasing them for. I hope you like this video. I'm going to have another video next week. Thank you for watching.